Hi, greetings to all. I am Dr. Vinay, hepatologist from Narayana Health. I would like to talk about a topic which is quite common and a quite common question from everyone. That is about jaundice. Now, what is jaundice? Jaundice is nothing but the yellowish discoloration which we see in our eyes or urine, which usually occurs to due to various other causes. So, based upon the causes, there are multitudes of causes which can cause jaundice to a person who can be a near normal or healthy priorly without any liver disease or a jaundice might develop in a person who had a problem of liver but it was not diagnosed earlier. Now when the jaundice occurs, usually jaundice will be seen mostly in as yellowish discoloration of eyes and urine. Common causes can be of three kinds of variety. One which is commonly said as uh, jaundice which arises from the blood. These usually are the cases where uh, the hemoglobin which is usually metabolized and excreted by the liver is abnormally uh, metabolized or not completely metabolized and they give rise to increased levels of bilirubin or that is the jaundice uh, part. Second part is where the problems of the liver as such can give rise to inadequate metabolism of bilirubin which is the cause of jaundice and this can be multitudes of causes. One which is quite common is hepatitis infections. Second it could be due to excessive alcohol intake. Third it could be various other causes like autoimmune liver disease that is our body is acting against our liver causing damage or inflammation in the liver. Third variety where it can cause a jaundice is when there is a obstruction to the, to the excretion of whatever our liver is trying to excrete say with a gallstone. Gallstone is nothing but a small stones which are usually present in our gallbladder which is just below our liver. Our liver is usually on the right side of our upper abdomen. Usually the patients with jaundice have complaints obviously of yellowish discoloration of ice and urine. And they can have other multitudes of symptoms which can range from fever which can be due to infection as in hepatitis infections. Second it could be pain in the area of our liver which can be due to gallstones or infections as such. So and third patients without any other pain or fever can also present as jaundice like I have mentioned the due to abnormalities in our blood cell metabolism. Now, how can one diagnose jaundice? Once the patient develops, they usually have malaise, fatigue, decreased appetite, inability to have food, nausea and vomiting. And when they notice yellowish discoloration of ice and urine, one has to approach the doctor to diagnose what exactly is the cause of jaundice. The simple test that is liver function test can help us to diagnose how much bilirubin is elevated and also the, as I said multitudes of cause should be sought out and if we treat each of the cause the jaundice can come down and the patient can become healthy. The problem is if it is not diagnosed at a proper time and not given up adequate care the problem might increase or worsen causing the liver to completely damage itself and leading to liver failure and subsequently death if it is not diagnosed properly. So with this small talk, I would like to emphasize that don't ignore your jaundice. It might be giving a signal of something sinister happening in your body. So once if you are diagnosed with any elevation of bilirubin, say on your blood test, one has to approach our physicians or gastroenterologist or a hepatologist like us to properly diagnose and take care of the problem. Thank you.